This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Valdemar back here with another episode of Jade Empire. In the last episode, we finally uh, finally finished cleansing the spirit monks and dirge of the evil by fighting ourselves. I mean, if Persona could do it, why can't we? And uh, although I think this game came out way before, Persona started doing that in their franchise, I think. Maybe? Anyway, I'll have to re-look I'll have to re -look into that. I forgot what Persona uh, 3 came out. Well, actually... Yeah, no, percent three gets fit. Anyway, anyway, wrong game. Uh, anyway, we're back at we're back in the real world because the the celestial dragon was able to give us life just long enough to get us out of here, and we got pre uh, got to prepare ourselves for Lee, and hopefully our companions will get here. But let's take a look around Dirge while we're running around. Ooh, spirit font. Uh, I don't need that right now, but thank you anyway. All right, so we need to get another set of cogs. Oh, by the way, I reloaded an old file just to. So I didn't fix the sp uh, meditation wheels yet, because we'll need another set of cogs. Whoa! So many are gone, but not all. What did we do to deserve this curse? Must we fight for all eternity? You did this, Red Monk. We will not rest until your kind are wiped out. Oh, God. Right. Okay. I can, I always forget if spirits can be like can be like hit by oops, didn't turn around. Can be hit by guns, you know what I mean? It's one of those things you just kinda just just like lose track of just because Yeah, just it's just best just to ch heavy charge them. That'll guarantee a hit more unlike uh unlike uh, the single attack which can sometimes miss. Hello. What's going on here? Hey, all right. The end of chapter five and the start of chapter six. The the siege of dirge. Um, and our companions are back. Chapter six. When a friend is returned to the living, dirge is under siege once more, and the fate of death's hand is sealed. Restoring the fountains of dirge has allowed the water dragon to grant you a second chance at life. Your followers now rush to be at your side, but Sun Lee also moves. He knows the threat a spirit monk poses. Here at the ruins of Dirge, history will repeat itself in spectacular fashion. With only however many dudes we have on our team, uh, how many followers, like nine or eight or whatever. Yeah, that's going to go off better. Anyway, let's check these bones. Mm, searching the dead. Ooh, we got page two of the release. Let's check that out. All right, well, let's talk to our companions. Let's run around quick before. I'm surprised they haven't charged me yet, saying, oh, we missed you. We can't. Like all games, the MC disappears. The rest of the commanders can't can't live without him or her or whoever the MC is. At least that's what it seems to be in a lot of stories. Where, like for whatever reason, like the like if if a leader dies, like all the companions just like fall apart. And I'm, I'm like I can understand that if you looked up to someone, you can be kind of devastating. But for a lot of people in a lot of the stories, they like can't do anything on their own after a fact because they just like lost the will or whatever. But it's just like man, don't you guys have any? Agency past the main, the MC, you know. All right, just it was just seeing if there's any more bodies or random stuff around here. So time to go inside. Also, to see if we can find out where the uh, where the mosquito landed at. Another spirit font. Where? Oh, huh. I must have missed that last time. Or that wasn't in the realm of the dead. One of the two. I think the mosquito is like right over here. So might as well check it out. Oh hey, but how'd you guys pull up these tents so fast? Man, you guys are good. Tent. Yes, I know it's a tent, dude. It's not like I can go inside it. So. Hey hey, I'm alive. You are here, alive. We we thought you were dead, and then I had visions of the strangest things. Dawnstar guided us to this place, but I expected a ghost, not flesh and blood. Well, I, I might still be a ghost. I'm not quite sure. The the celestial dragon of water seems to be kind of flaky in her powers, if you know what I mean. 
Water Dragon returned me to life. Death cannot stop one as powerful as I. I came back because of you, Dunstar. I came back because I have you. Ah, you can't choose one or the other, do. Uh, let's try. Let's not try to fo show favoritism to the two girls yet. So we're st we're still on the fence there. So, um, death cannot stop one as powerful as I. Normally, I would warn that such arrogance would bring the wrath of the heavens, but you appear to have a far more intimate understanding of them than I do. Your role is of great importance indeed. Mortals are never returned to life in their own form. Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, pretty sweet as an MC, getting all these benefits. We can do greatly and must try to set things right. I learned much about the choices I will have. She has placed a great deal of trust in me. Few things are more dangerous than the interest of the heavens. Pardon me, but might I add the entire army of the Emperor to that list? Or is that too small a thing for your attention? Your return was predicted by more than Dawnstar. Assaulting the spirit realm has alerted your enemies. Your former master, my uncle, has taken the Jade Empire as his own. Emperor Sun Li has set the whole of his forces against us, and we are trapped here in Dirge. Mm. That's wait. So we can't fly out because they probably have their own mosquitoes or something like that. Mm, that's got to be tough. Looks well, like we're gonna have to uh, plan a trap for all these people. All right. Does anyone know of a ten-year-old blonde child? Why would you set the whole army against us? What happened after I fell to him? After you defeated my... my father, and Lee struck you down, he claimed both your amulet and the heart of the water dragon and announced that his rule had begun. The Lotus assassins were his almost immediately. Your amulet must have allowed him to quickly do what it took my father years to accomplish. Haha, <laughs> your father sucks. I mean, so sorry for your loss. The water dragon told me it was a powerful focusing tool. I no longer need that trinket. But that apparently does not stop its misuse. We had no choice but to flee. In the days after, the new emperor did not seem overly concerned with capturing us, and we did not know where to go. He didn't consider us a threat. We had no way of fighting him. Just as with Sun High, only a spirit monk can face him with hope of success. That's why we came here. Dawnstar's vision seemed impossible, but any hope was better than none. Unfortunately, Emperor Sun Li sensed your stirrings in the spirit realm as well, and now we are trapped. Hmm. Hey, at least Sky gets somewhere. Is this Black Whirlwind have anything to say? You know? <laughs> Sorry, just some characters just get thrown in the background because they're not as important story-wise. There is no way of avoiding them. Sneaking, flight, bah. Li is right to fear me now. Let them come. You do not face Emperor Sun Li. You face the whole of the Imperial Army. All of it. Not lone assassins or a single brigade, but the whole of the army, golems and all. Only one path is passable by foot, and that is the route they are coming up. We cannot sneak past such a horde. My marvelous dragonfly will not survive the passage either. The winds force a certain path, and the army's flyers are guarding it well. But that is our luck, as well as our sorrow. Their inferior flyers can barely stay aloft in such currents. They will not overrun us from the air, at least not in numbers. Hmm, it's almost like the game is railroading us into this situation. Nah, that, that's fine. I just, I just find it funny that conveniently everything f that forces us to encounter them and not get away. And we'll raise the defense here and come what may. This is not the glorious task the War Dragon set was before me. No, no it wasn't. Lee sends, Lee sends his armies to do what he could not. I'm not afraid of that coward. Let us hope that your courage is not unfounded. We have until tomorrow to plan before the bulk of the force will be upon us. We will start securing the temple. The great gates of this place will grant us some valuable time. At least they will not take us by surprise. Fortifications? Hmm. Perhaps I will remove some of the ordnance from the marvelous dragonfly. Properly applied, it may prove useful tomorrow. Come, whirlwind. I need your muscle. That's the Black Whirlwind. And as long as it makes the coming fight more interesting, I'll lift whatever you want. That is all we can do for now. Tomorrow we'll decide our fates. We should all get some rest. But if I could have a word with you when the others have gone, I need to speak with you. Hmm. When you're ready for preparations, talk with the uh, Silk... Uh, I wonder what the Princess or Silk Fox has to say to us. Yeah, it's probably nothing. Probably just like preparations. Ooh, three of five. All right. 
Yeah, it's probably nothing. Like I said, it's probably, uh, they're probably talking about her father or something like that, so it's probably nothing. Nothing too big, but uh, before we do that, let's keep running around a little bit. Let's see what else is there. There's Silk Fox right there. But yeah, we gotta prepare. Whoa! Where did you come from? Jerk! Ugh. What the? Come on now. There you go. And really, because there's like a spirit font like right there, like right up those stairs, like I don't really have an issue with just spamming go uh, this golem, you know? You know, I, I, I strongly consider trying to do a like a, a like a uh, um, a thorough experience run of this game where I made sure I had like the right gems and everything for each encounter, so I'd always get the full experience just to figure out like what what's the highest level you could reach by the end of the game. What is our current level right now? Oops, all the save. See, so we're at twenty one. I think if I remember correctly, you can kind of get to level 25 by the end. I don't think 30 is possible. I could be wrong, though. I've never done a, like, maximize all my experience uh, run of this game ever. Like, uh, the main times I've run it, I've always... Oh, we got some broken cogs. Broken cogs, eh? I wonder if we get those fixed. Well, let's keep looking. Oh, can we not? You must uh, rest before... Oh. <laughs> you must gather your party before venturing forward. Okay, so we got... Got more of that, and we also got the. Hmm, what's been missing something? Because there's a. Because right, I only have four or five, right? Let's see, what's the plot items have? Yeah, only four or five. Uh, well, let's read. It looks like I have some extra stuff there. So we got machine cogs and. Beve oh, beveled. I thought it said broken cogs. Whoops. Oh, those might actually work. Let's see, you have almost all the missing sections of the Tome of Release, except for a few key elements. You could almost perform the ritual outline with them. Doing so would clearly free the spirits of the last few Imperial Army soldiers who haunt Dirge. This section of the Tome makes it clear that the ritual must be performed at the shrine dedicated to Ma Sung, the water source, one of the first spirit monks. Elevated to the heavens for his tireless service to the water dragon, his influence is said to guide the invoked magic. So we could do it now, if we know what we're doing. Yeah, like when you meditate on those guys, there's actually a thing you can do with it. Um, it doesn't say it before. I'm gonna double check like before I go back and because I have to go back anyway to fix this meditation thing and talk to some of the companions. But because uh, I think there's other companions back in the temple area now that we've done that. So I believe if uh, well, never mind. I won't say anything until we actually get to that event. I don't know if we'll get to that today or not, depending on how quickly we set up our defenses and everything like that. Because really, you could just leave it up to, uh, leave it up to, okay. Oh, wait, was there something else? Oh, it was, it was just the camera. Okay. For a second, I was like, oh, did I miss something down there? It's like, no, it's a... I always feel like I'm missing something, even though the game has a... It's pretty good about, like, letting us know that we've, like, that you can just press the triggers, at least on the controller I'm using, to highlight, um, uh... Highlight if you've been, oh, like just different items and stuff like that. So, all right. Yep, it's exciting to me just watching me just. I guess where some of the companions were running around here somewhere last time I played. Ooh, is this it? Oh, nope. Well, I mean it is, but wait, how did I miss that? I thought I uh. I thought I checked that. Well, anyway, I would have had to go back anyway because of the. Uh, that's a little extra experience. Anyway. There we go. Is that it? Must be. It's gotta be. That's the only other thing I'm missing. Yay, alright, we got it. And we get a thousand experience for that. Nice. Thousand experience, you say? I wonder if I would have gotten more if I was if I had uh, the uh, one thing I equipped. Or am I. Did I forget to take that off? Oh, I guess I did, so I don't know if. I don't think that's considered a book, but. Oh, right, let's actually read the results of that now. Let's see. Now that you've read the uh, read the fully assembled tome of release, you know how to perform a ritual that would lift the curses from the spirits of the last few Imperial Army soldiers who still haunt Dredge. The ritual must be performed at the shrine dedicated to Ma Sung. What is it? Is he re related to uh, Shang Tsung? You know, from uh, Mortal Kombat? Gonna steal our souls? One of the first spirit monks. Elevated to the heavens of his tireless service to the Wild Dragon, his influence is said to guide the invoked magic. The last section you found, however, warns that performing the ritual at a shrine dedicated to a heavenly gate guardian will summon the wrath of one of these beings. The cursed souls affected by such a ritual would be forever torn from the wheel of life. The spiritual enemies would be scared to the winds, and they might even affect the monk performing the ritual in some dark way. Dark way, you say? Uh, 
Hmm. Interesting. I'll show you both just because I can. So, yeah, you can either do the obvious good one or you can do the dark one. Uh, are we going after this point? Are we going to be called Dark Hot? Anyway, let's uh, check with the wheels again. All right, we already read that last time. So, uh, to, to examine the wheel, spin the wheel. Can't do it because they refuse to budge. <laughs> the future refuses to change. All right. Uh, yeah, let's try to repair them. Using both sets of cogs to do your repairs, you repair five of the wheels. The damage to the other three wheels is more extensive than you can repair, and you can doubt you can restore the system any more than you have. The meditation wheels rest here quietly. Thanks to your repairs, five of them will spin again. You think that repairing the others could take months. Well, then I'm not going to take months here. we got got to take care of our duty, if you know what I mean. Spin the meditation wheels. Spin the wheel! The repaired wheels spin smoothly and almost noiselessly. Such wheels often help focus the mind during meditation. Meditate upon the mantra of inspiration. You feel a sense of calm as you meditate, listening to the waters of the dragon font, uh, font and the quiet revelations of the wheel. You feel centered and relaxed. You are certain you have gained all you can from, from meditating for these wheels. After a few moments, something in the mechanism gives way. The wheels abruptly stop spinning, and you doubt you'll be able to repair them again. And this time we get a communion of the dragon if we actually do it properly this time, instead of being a little quick quick to the quick to the raw man this this would be a dickish moment if the game didn't have like an auto save or you knew to save beforehand if you did and you're like oh man but luckily even it auto saves not too long ago so so the game doesn't hit you that badly so anyway let's check out our new technique community of the dragon we get plus so we get an extra five key and extra five health for taking a few more seconds to fix it so nice uh with Five of the ancient meditation wheels of dirt spinning as you meditate. You soon realize that, like the amulet, the wheels were merely a training tool. You feel closer to understanding the nature of the water dragon than before, and with that understanding comes power. Power. Oh, oh, oh. You must choose. You must. How you choose to use it is, remains to be seen. All right. Anyway, now that we have that one thing, we can uh, do that ritual. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised now the companions are like running around. I think that was a missed opportunity that you could talk to them outside of doing the next scene, if you know what I mean. But I guess we'll do. I guess we'll do that scene quicker than I expected. So, all right, let me let me do a quick. Let me do a quick save here. Man, look at all those saves. I actually not all those saves are from this version because I did play this game a long time ago on the uh, on the emulation here. So, like about two hundred of these are from this playthrough alone. I, if I remember correctly, I'll have to look and see because you can check the times of when I record or when I saved them. So, let's do the good way first, just to show you. The shrine is dedicated to Mas Sang. Oh, we remember that. Before the ritual of the Tome of Release. You start the mental preparation for the ritual to release the spirits of the cursed Imperial Guards and allow them to find peace. Complete the... Oh, we can stop at any time we want to. Complete the ritual. As you focus the magic inherent to the spirit monks upon the shrine, you feel your senses expand. You feel the relief of the Imperial soldiers all across the earth. Feeling slightly drained, you release the key you were channeling, confident that the soldiers have found peace. In this case, you get the turning wheel and a lot of uh, a lot of uh, order. How much order does it give us? And eh, not much. We're still pretty evil at this point, but uh, okay. So okay, let me see. We get for doing that. We get plus seven focus, plus seven key for doing that. The last remnants of the Imperials are uh, Imperials cursed army has dispersed from Dirge. You can still hear whispers of the th of thanks on the wind. Far from a distraction, they serve as a reminder of the tasks ahead and make it all the easier to steal your will. Hmm. Okay, let's see if we... So so the focus in that, so if we reload and do it the obvious best way, it's the bestest way, to doing a, giving them peace, <laughs> whatever. Now I think, uh, if you're going to do a good or bad system in a game, you need to give a proper rewards for either being good or bad, because otherwise, you know... I mean, other than story purposes, I think there should be a mechanical or game purpose for certain rewards. Like, you know, you get more power maybe being evil, but you lose out on a lot of little rewards or or maybe help or something like that, you know. It's tough, although a lot of people don't do these types of games anymore. Not that I've noticed anyway. These are far and few in between now. A lot of them go into either shooters or live services, or at least if you're talking about big companies. I'm not sure about the indie scene. I don't really follow that as much. Then again, I don't really buy a lot of new games anymore. Like I, I hardly buy, or if I buy, if I buy games, they're like older games that I buy for like really for good sales or whatever. So, all right, Kai, Chuck, Kai, what do you got for me? Perform the ritual of the tome release. You start your mental preparation for the ritual that sever the spirits of the cursed Imperial soldiers from the water of life. 
complete the ritual. You channel this magic of the spirit monks into the statue. Your senses expand, and you can feel the souls of the cursed soldiers shredding under your influence. The ritual complete, you draw what remains of the soldiers' spirits into yourself. For a moment, you feel their pain and loss, but soon even that passes. Ha! Ah, what a dick. All right, anyway, we got a thousand experience for that. For rooting these souls forever, ever, ever. Aren't we glad we're the hero? In this case, we get plus seven key and plus seven health instead. So yeah, it's not... It's just variations on what you get instead. So yeah, it's one of those things that... That's more of a story or RP po point of that in that moment. But anyway, the last remnants of the Imperials and Vader forces have become torn for the cycle of rebirth, and the spirits are lost for all time. Regardless of whether these soldiers deserve such a cruel fate or not, you've harnessed the tattered shreds of their spirits to your, for your own purposes. Man, what a jerk. All right, anyway, I think that's it, actually, for this, for, for Dirge. Unfortunately, you can't go back into other areas like you could when you were in the, when you were dead. So you're pretty much really here is to get those two rewards and then go and then rest and get ready for the, uh, for the Siege of Dirge. <laughs> Siege of Dirge 2, Electric Boogaloo. God, how many titles have I had in my playthroughs I've done that, that, like, exact same, like, title name? Probably quite a few, if I remember correctly. It's one of those jokes that you just can't forget, you know. Like, uh, calling every, like for example, calling every video that deals with the uh, uh, bugs, the Orkin Man. At least in America, anyway. I don't know how it is in other countries. Like, what your more famous um, uh, pesticide cleaners are. But in America, there, I always, at least in my area, it was always Orkin Man. Orkin Man! I think we have... We have time to start the siege at least, so I almost don't want to start now because of what's going to be coming out. But you know, we just have to. We have to start at some point. So, all right, so Fox, I'm kind of tired. Can you make this quick? I just tore some I souls was to shreds. When we find time to be alone, everyone has been hovering about you since you got back. I have hesitated to talk to you. I wanted to be sure of what I would say, to be sure that you were still the person I cared so much about. Do you remember the hearts he left behind? I'm not the only one waiting for an answer. Hmm. I d uh, are you still concerned about the answer? I don't understand. What have you been up to? Your death left us shaken. It seemed like an eternity before Dawnstar had that vision of the water dragon. Before we knew you might return. We consoled each other. Dawnstar and I started talking. Got to know each other better. We learned a few things about you about how we felt about you. If you had to make a choice between me and her, would you? Could you? Who would it be? Oh, God damn it, princess. Don't put me on the spot like this. Oh, that's that's just cruel. And what do you mean talking to yourselves and getting to know each other? If I could put, like, a meme under there, just slowly raise his eyebrows, like, in surprise. You're like, what? I could make the decision. I'd choose you, Sun Lian. I'd have to choose Don Sorry. Now, this is, like, um... Well, if you if you haven't played a Bioware game before, or at least the more modern ones, this is the this is the your 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 love interest co uh, commits to the you finally commit to the love interest, or you finally have that expression of it at that point. So it's usually right before the end or before the final chapter or something like that. Um, you know, I think yeah, even in their older Bioware games like Baldur's Gate and Everywhere Nights, yeah, before major scenes when this would happen, it's kind of a a trope in their writing style. I mean, why would you want your love interest to tell you they love you, like, at the very beginning of the game? Although, technically, in Dragon Age, I mean, not to spoil it, but, uh, um, you can get the love interest to, like, fall in love with you, like, way before the end of the game. It's just, at the end of the game, you get more scenes when you've done it, but you can get the love interest to basically go, oh, I love you, like, almost at the very beginning of the game, like, as soon as you get free roam in that game or something like that. If I ever play Dragon Age, I'll show you, but, uh, anyway, but, uh, yeah, you could either choose John Star, Sun Lian, or <sighs> girls. I, I can't do that. It'd be cruel. I can't make that. I couldn't make that decision. Ah, it's just like we thought. Poor, poor, lovable man, caught by feelings he can't stop. I never imagined that I'd love someone like you, and neither did I. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, one, Dawnstar just popped up out of nowhere like a goddamn jack of the box when she said that, that, like, that line. You saw her just model pop up. And two, that's right, folks. We just got a threesome in, in, a, Jade, in, a, in a Bioware game. That's right. No, I mean, you never see it, obviously. It's heavily implied that you just had a night together with both, uh, both the princess and Dawnstar. Funny enough, if I ever get to Mass Effect, they kind of make fun of this in, in one spot uh, in the first game. It's kind of funny, actually, but how epic is that? You have done well to restore the Fountains of Dirge, but they cannot shield you fully. Not with the power I now control. This is nothing more than a dream, my pupil. I can do nothing here, but I can influence things. Do you remember your fellow students? certainly remember you. They remember how you left them to die. Eh, I'm not really that worried about that, Master Lee. You think you're gonna hit onto my feelings? One of them I think I was just a total dick to and stopped talking to. One I crippled for life before she died here. I guess I guess the gods were, uh, were uh, ple uh, not pleased, uh, uh, kind or that regards, I guess. I forgot what I did to everyone else, but yeah, I don't think they care for me at that point. N uh, as opposed to letting them get killed. I would have saved them if I could. Your plans are what to kill them. This is all your... <laughs> this is all you can summon me. They were nothing to me. They died, so there would be nothing holding you back. Their deaths ensured that you were properly motivated. Without you, they would still be alive. <laughs> Alright, time to fight them. Can we shoot them? Ah, sure, I'll just... I'll just J... I'll just J go on them. Sorry, Master Lee, did you expect me to have uh, a, a, a summon of this magnitude? You thought you thought I was a humble spirit monk, but it was I, Jade, uh, Jade Gollum. And I'm immune to a lot of your weapons. <laughs> well, not a little bit, but you know. Do, 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 do. It wasn't you. Oh, you got Master Lee? <coughs> Pathetic. <coughs> Impressive, but this was only a dream. You will not be so fortunate tomorrow. Uh, that ain't nothing. That's just a tickle compared to my levels. No, uh, that might be a bit of a problem. Summoning all, a couple, I saw a couple of Jay Golems and a ton of Rager Golems there. I don't even think he brought any actual people there. Uh, despite the differences, Dawnstar and Silk Fox can be quite powerful. They work together, but you can never get them to work together. I mean, they work together in my case, and you know we had a little bit of fun there. Uh, but unfortunately. Uh, uh, you know what? Funny enough, I've done the I've done the three way romance option so many times. I've almost forgotten what it's like to either choose just Silk Fox or Don Donstar. Although the game gives you a chance to not even go with it, you think like if you can't decide, you think the girls would just go, "Oh, screw you," and just like walk away. It's like it's either one one or the highway. But no, in this case, they they were okay with it. It sounds like the army is on the move. They're on their way up the mountain. Sky left a few hours ago. He said he was going to see how far up the mountain they had come. We haven't heard from him since, and I'm, I'm worried. Look, he's back! Well, that's convenient for my nerves. Uh, 
Sorry for being late. Mm. Uh, I thought you died. Oh, darn. I mean, uh, great, you're alive. Oh, cool. Uh, anyway, <laughs> what happened? Are you all right? Were you fighting them? You don't have the time. Uh, were you fighting them? We don't have time for mistakes. Thanks, but this wasn't a mistake. Well, not a large one, anyway. I went down the mountain to scout them out. I figured I could get a good estimate of how many were coming and get back here. It didn't work out like I planned. There are Lotus assassins by the score, mm. and golems too. You didn't bury them all. They have a lot more. Imperial army flyers in the distance too. They'll be here soon. Bad, bad, very bad. What are we going to do? They'll be across the main bridge in no time. Hmm. What are we going to do? Will we be able to put our plans together to defeat the army of of Sun Li and the and the Golem army themselves, or will we be crushed and forever forgotten to time? Find out next time in the exciting next episode of Jade Empire. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>